Hi besties, it's that time of year again and New Year's resolutions are around the corner. I know, I know, every year feels the same. You make one ginormous resolution to fix all of your problems, or so you think, and then give up in about a month. Rather than make some unrealistic goal, working towards bite-sized financial milestones can help get your money and your finances back in tip-top shape. Here are the seven things you need to know to take control of your money management in the new year. Let's get to it. First up, start an emergency fund. First and foremost, without a doubt, this year is the year you either beef up or start your emergency fund. While this first step isn't that fun or that flashy, it can be the most important thing you do this upcoming year. We never know what life has in store for us, so future you will thank current you for preparing for the unexpected. If you're a single person, I recommend having around three to six months of living expenses saved up, and if you are the head of household or support others, nine to 12 months is probably a safer bet. This fund will cover things like medical issues, being laid off, any sort of housing or car problems you may run into, and so many other potential mishaps. It's important to do this first because if you don't and something bad does happen, you could end up in even more financial trouble. And if you want to be an A plus student, stash your emergency fund in a high yield savings account because it will allow your money to earn more interest than a traditional savings account. Meaning you'll save up your emergency fund faster so then you can focus on your other money goals. This video is sponsored by SoFi, my favorite high yield checking and savings account. I know you want to make sure that the money you've set aside for future expenses or emergencies isn't just sitting around getting eaten away by inflation in the meantime. Instead of a standard checking and savings account, I use a high yield checking and savings account to ensure that I'm earning interest so my money can work hard for me too. Per the FDIC national average deposit rates, standard banks only provide 0.07% on checking accounts and 0.46% on savings accounts. But my SoFi high yield checking and savings accounts allow me to earn 0.50% APY on checking and up to 4.60% APY on savings. That's a lot more in interest for me. SoFi high yield checking and savings accounts are so easy to use. And yes, before you ask, they are FDIC insured. Best part, if you set up direct deposit, you can also earn up to a $300 bonus right now. So where can you get one of these? Head to SoFi.com slash your rich BFF. You work hard for your money. It should work hard for you too. Now, Back to the other six things you can do to set up new year, new you for financial success. To take control of your debt, maybe you spent a little too much during the holidays, or maybe you just have some accumulating debt. The new year is the best time to take control of your debt. Debt can feel really debilitating, so try my favorite, the avalanche method for paying off debt in the fastest and most efficient way. Focus on the highest interest rate debt first while making minimum payments on all others. By paying off the highest interest rate debt first, you are tackling your scariest and growiest debt first. Also, avoid adding to your credit card debt by using your cards responsibly. Don't put any purchases on them that you cannot afford to pay in full right away. Remember, small steps count. Whether it's paying $5 or $5,000, it makes a huge difference. And you'll want to focus on paying high interest rate debt first, so anything above 7%. Focus on your credit cards, and then you can put other things like your mortgage or student loan debt a little bit on the back burner because it's okay to focus on those later. Three, create a budget. The idea of tackling your whole financial life can be super difficult, so just start with making a budget for the new year. This will give you a financial roadmap to follow. One of my favorite budgets is the 50-30-20 method. This is a fantastic way to keep your finances in check. Start by allocating 50% of your income to essentials. Think things like rent, utilities, groceries, and other necessities. The fun part comes with the 30% because that's designated for your wants dining out, entertainment, shopping sprees, and all those things that bring you joy. And last but definitely not least, the golden 20%. That goes towards your financial goals, savings, investments, paying off debts, and building a safety net for the future. Tailor these percentages to fit your lifestyle, but keep the essence of balancing needs, wants, and securing your financial future. 
Over time, the hope is that your needs and wants will become a smaller percentage of your budget as you begin to earn more in your career and your golden 20 can increase as you build up your financial security. Much like a fitness plan, if you go in too hard and all at once, you'll get discouraged and quit. So don't be afraid to take it slow and take baby steps. Don't forget to review and adjust your budget regularly as your expenses or income changes. If you're interested in other budgeting methods that make more sense for folks who have inconsistent income or folks who want something more tailored month to month or people who just don't like the 50, 30, 20 because it doesn't work for their lifestyle, I cover other strategies in chapter three of my book, Rich AF, and you can snag a copy at richaf.me. Four, we are upping our retirement plan contributions. In the same way that your budget takes care of today you, thinking about retirement will help take care of future you. One of the easiest things you can do to set yourself up for success is to contribute as much as possible to your retirement investing accounts. Start by taking full advantage of employer-sponsored plans like 401ks, contribute at least enough to snag the full employer match if you can, it's free money. And if your job doesn't offer a retirement plan, look into IRAs, individual retirement accounts, traditional or Roth, to save for retirement independently. When it comes to retirement planning, start early. The power of compound interest is your best friend here. You don't have to pick the perfect investment as long as you start early, which is a perfect segue into the next tip, start investing. Since we were mentioning investment accounts in the last tip, you know we have to talk about what to actually buy in those accounts now. Investing is arguably the scariest part for anyone starting their financial journey. It can feel daunting to try and figure out where to put your money. And there's also just so much jargon. Why? But this year, it's important that we take charge of our financial futures, so consider your risk tolerance and goals, and then pick investments that align with your needs. Take advantage of apps or platforms that offer easy and affordable ways to start investing with small amounts, and utilize a robo-advisor for automated guidance if you're feeling overwhelmed. If even that sounds daunting, check out chapter five in my book, Rich AF. I walk you through how to select a brokerage, open an account, and what investments to buy in these accounts. I also cover what order you should invest in to really maximize your tax benefits. Remember, investing is for the long haul, so patience is key. Start small, stay consistent, and watch your investments grow over time. Up next, we wanna maximize our spending. If you are already going to spend money, you might as well get something back for it. Two of the easiest ways to do that is through cashback apps and selecting a good rewards credit card. Cashback programs are a great way to ensure that you, as an online shopper, are getting money back in your pocket. Using a program like Rakuten allows you to get cash back on your purchases at up to 3,500 retailers. The beauty of cash back lies in the simplicity. You shop, you earn. It's like a little reward for being a smart shopper. Imagine getting a percentage of what you spend back in your pocket, almost like a discount after the fact. It transforms the way we perceive our purchases, something for nothing. And the best part, if you use it responsibly, it shouldn't change your shopping habits. You buy what you need, and as a bonus, you get a little something back, but don't just buy to buy. On top of that, you can double dip. Picking the right credit card can make all the difference. Rather than just choosing any card at random or just out of convenience because you already bank somewhere, take a look at your life and your priorities. Make sure to choose a card that aligns with what you value in life to ensure you're getting those extra rewards on purchases you are going to make anyway. Are you a big traveler? There's a card for that. A big foodie? There's a card for that. Spend all your monies on gas and groceries? There is a card for that. But just remember that you want to pay off your credit card balance in full every single month on time, because if you are not doing that and you're rolling a balance, all of those interest charges are going to negate any sort of rewards you could be getting. And last but certainly not least, make a plan for the future. What does your financial life look like in a year? Five, 10 years. A thing that I love to do with my fiance, but you can do with yourself, with family, with a friend, or with a partner, is to go for a walk and talk about your dreams. How can money get you there? And what are you going to need to do to get that money? I hope these quick tips are a cheat code to financial freedom. Whether you're diving into credit card perks, crafting the perfect budget, or tapping into the magic of investing, these tips are tailored to make your money work smarter and harder while you get to kick up your feet sooner rather than later. It's not just about the numbers, it's about building a vision for your life and using your money as a tool to get you there. 
Consider this your financial toolkit, customized for the hustle of your new year's new money goals. If this video has been helpful for you, please be sure to like and subscribe for more money, investing, and finance tips. Love you, happy holidays, and if I don't see you beforehand, happy new year, new you.